Hey guys, this is KPSTechUSA.com. I'm here to demonstrate to you my two products. The first one is the MXQ, which looks like that. Uh, the second one is the M8, which looks like this. Okay, both of the boxes have USB ports as well as HDMI ports in the back uh, and then you know the port obviously for your uh, power cord um, so they both are the same specs um, 8 gigabytes of memory uh, you can put an SD card to expand the memory if you want uh, they come with Android 4.4 KitKat uh, they're both quad core boxes the only difference between the two is the M8 actually is dual band Wi-Fi which means it picks up the standard 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi as well as the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi um, the MXQ would only pick up the 2.4 uh, also uh, the second difference is uh, the M8 actually is t uh, 2 gigabyte processor uh, and the MXQ is a 1 gigabyte processor so I'm going to show you a quick demonstration uh, this is the remote for the M8 uh, the, uh, the MXQ has a different remote, but they both kind of have the same features. This one just looks a little different. Okay, so as you see there, you have an OK button. You have an up, down, left, right to navigate. The top red button is actually to turn on the box and turn it off. Uh, the button here, uh, that's the arrow uh, that I'm pushing on right now in the center. That means uh, return, which means to go back if you want to go back any pages. Uh, the home button was just shaped like a home, as you see it right there. Uh, that's just to take you back to the Android screen. The button here with the three lines uh, is the menu. Um, the menu button um, has different functions as far as adding stuff to your favorites and stuff like that. Then you have the numbers on the bottom, the volume controls on top, and then the mute button on the top right. Um, so I'm going to show you real quick uh, a demonstration. Okay, so this is when the box turns on, this is the main screen for Android KitKat 4.4. Um, first thing you're going to do is go into the settings. Okay, and um, once you go into the settings, the first option you see there on the top left is network. You see my Wi-Fi is checked off, um, and my Wi-Fi network is right there, and it shows connected. Normally, if it's not connected, you will not see that check mark to the left of the Wi-Fi network. Uh, you would hit OK, and you would ask you for the uh, Wi-Fi password. You would put that in, hit OK, wait a few seconds, it shows connected. Once you do that, you don't have to do anything else. All my boxes come fully programmed, plug and play. Um, you don't have to do any configuration or anything like that. So what you do, um, you don't have to worry about any of this stuff here. Um, all you do is the bottom left there that I have highlighted now, that's the, the browser. It has an internet browser in case you want to browse the internet. You can also get a wireless keyboard or wireless mouse and plug it in the USB port on the box um, if you, if you want to surf the internet which makes it a lot easier than the remote that comes with the box um, the, uh, you have the Android market uh, you have a task killer right there which you know if you're stuck anywhere in the uh, Kodi program you actually just hit the home button it'll take you here you hit OK two times here and it'll close it out um, I'll show you an example you hit OK it'll show you that and then hit OK again it kills it and then it'll reset Kodi for you um, so you're not stuck anymore and lastly, you have Cody right there, which is the K. So let's demonstrate real quick. We'll hit OK to open it. This is the latest version, Cody Helix 14.1. Um, and so you have three options here. Okay, I simplified everything on here for you. Um, system, you're really not going to have to worry about. Music, I've already set up uh, Pandora and TuneIn Radio for you. Uh, if you have an account, these are free radio uh, applications. You can actually set up... Uh, if you want to set up your account, you just basically go right under music, go to add-ons, hit OK, um, and you highlight Pandora, for example. Uh, you hit the menu button, and it's going to pull up this screen. So all you have to do is choose the top option, add-on information, hit OK. OK, and then hit OK on configure. Then right at the top, it says username right here and then password. You put that in, you hit OK, it'll pull up all the stations that you've set up in your favorites. 
um, you know, whether it's on your phone or tablet or anything like that, it'll pull them all up. You can play radio on your television uh, if you wanted. Same thing goes for a tune-in radio. And then you, all you have to do once you do that, um, it'll automatically remember your password and your account. So you just have to hit OK, and it'll op normally it would just open up. Right now it's asking me for the username and password because I haven't put it in. Okay, so that's music. Um, the other place is videos. That's where everything else is. Okay, so <clears throat> you have five programs here that I set up as your shortcuts. Each of them do something different. Okay, um, the bottom here, the bottom left, as I have highlighted, the bottom left corner, that star, I'm going to click on it now, that's favorites. So I normally set up things here in your favorites by default, uh, you know, to make it a little easier. You know, you have live network cable channels, um, which says live network cable TV, then live network cable TV 2, 3, world live TV, which is channels from all over the world, and same thing here for international channels, okay? Up top, I have New Jersey um, traffic and weather in New Jersey uh, news, but normally I don't put that for people who buy from me out of state or out of the country. I'm just in New Jersey, so I have it set up here for my New Jersey customers. Okay, so I'm going to hit return to go back. Okay, and now if I don't want to use any, I can click on any one of these programs to open it. If I don't want to use any one of these programs that I have in the uh, shortcuts, I could just go to videos and then add-ons. And then this is all the applications that you would get as of now. I normally update my boxes. Any new applications that come out, depending on when you place the order, I normally normally add them in there. Uh, right now, this I have this stuff set up, set up in there already. So, um, you know, so this is everything on the box. So you have live TV. You have uh, live TV from the U.S. internationally. You have sports. You have adult channels. You have uh, obviously there's kids stuff in there and stuff like that. You have movies and shows. Anything you could basically think of is on the box. Uh, again, you don't have to do any of this. This is all set up for you. So to, when you actually purchase the box from us, uh, it will actually be all set up just like this. So <clears throat> let me just go back. I'm going to open up the favorites. Okay, I'm going to open up just a live channel uh, randomly just to you know, test it out. Okay, so I went to live cable uh, network and cable TV. Um, I'm going to go to uh, all English. <clears throat> now these these links come from different programs that are on the box so each one uh, comes from a different source okay so this one it's very random it's not um, alphabetical you know that's the way the developer of the application put it up so um, so you have movies in there and then you have live channels that are in there so I'm just gonna scroll down to try to find a, a channel okay um, here for example we have here Nickelodeon let's open that up we hit OK some, now it says opening stream. Some channels will open right away. Uh, some will take a little longer. It just depends on, the, you know, the uh, the uh, basically the source that it's coming from. So it's not always your internet speed. But see, this is live uh, Nickelodeon. Okay. So now if I'm going to stop the channel, I hit OK. This menu pops up. If I hit again, if I hit OK again, it's going to pause it. I go to the right. I hit to go to stop and I hit OK. It's going to stop it, put me back to the list. So anything else I want to select, I can just go right here. So that's an example. Now I'm going to go back. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm not going to open up everything because there's a lot of stuff in here. You know, it's impossible for me to open up everything. So, the, for example, Digital Sports. We'll open that up. Okay, so you have live TV, live sports. Everything's categorized. So if I go right now to live sports, these are the actual sources that you can get uh, you know, uh, sports from. And this is sports not just domestically, but from all over the world. Even if you want to watch uh, a team, for example, an NFL or NBA team uh, that is not in your area and it's not on your, t uh, your local television, you'll actually be able to get it with this app. Um, so any one of these you choose will give you um, different categories. Some of them are just soccer. Some of them are uh, everything else. Okay, I'm going to go to one here, to the fourth one that says first row sports.ge. Okay, I'm going to hit OK. This one shows you everything. So, American football, boxing, WWE, UFC. Uh, keep in mind, uh, the boxing, WWE, and UFC, <clears throat> you know, unless there's an event on, obviously, or matter of fact, any of these, um, it'll open up the events on that day. So, uh, if you want to watch a boxing match, WWE or UFC, on 
something that's either on regular TV um, or any of the premium channels or pay-per-view, you'll be able to get it on this. Um, so you just have to open it on the time of the event, and it'll give you different links. Okay? Um, so let me just go to football, which is soccer. American football is up top. So uh, obviously we're out of the season now, so there'll be no games right now for American football. So let me click on soccer, which is football. <clears throat> so it gives you some channels. Okay, um, and then it gives you the time. Everything's in military time. It gives you the time um, and whoever's playing at that time. So everything is in time order. And these, again, are games from all over the world, you know, um, any continent, basically. So they're all in time order, okay? So when you click one, okay, let's just click one. Um, right now it's 12.18 here, my local time. So let me go to around, uh, let's see here. 11.30 maybe. Okay, let's open that up. Now, the more popular the team is, the more links you're going to get. The more uh, channels are going to be showing it. Uh, some of them you might get one or two. Some of them you might get a lot. In this case, this one I guess is a pretty popular team, so there's a lot of links here. Now, you can open any one of them you like. Okay, and uh, basically it's going to depend on whatever quality it is. Some of them will be in different languages, so whatever one you choose is okay. You have multiple choices here, so if one of them is not too clear, which is obviously not our fault, it's depending on uh, the uh, the source that it's coming from. Uh, so you have a lot of choices here, okay? And you can just open any one of them up and it'll play, okay? So I'm going to go back now, and uh, <clears throat> I'm going to take you to the next program, Genesis. Very good program for movies and TV shows. And in TV shows, it, it could be TV shows that are on regular TV or premium channels. Um, it'll pull up any season and any episode that's ever been on, basically. And these are constantly updated by themselves. You don't have to update anything on this box. It automatically will update itself. You'll get notifications on the bottom right saying a specific program has been updated. So, um, you know, if I click on, I can click on movies, it'll give me different, you know, either by genre, by year, box office or whatever I want. If I want to search for a movie, I go to search, I hit OK. It's going to pop up uh, after I choose one of these. If I'm going to search a movie or she, it's asking me if I want to choose a movie or a TV show, uh, whatever I want to search for basically. So I'm going to click on movies. Here I can type in um, you know, whatever movie I'm looking for. Uh, I don't have to type the full name if it's like three words or four words. You can type in you know, one or two words, and it'll actually find it. It'll find anything with those two words or three words that are in there. So once I type it in, I hit done, and it'll pull up whatever's there. Okay. Um, and uh, now, if I want to just want to go to latest movies, let's just go to latest movies as an example. It's going to pull up all the movies, including new releases. So this will repl this will replace Netflix, Redbox, anything that you have subscriptions. Um, this is just one of the programs. I have a few other ones that do the same thing. So he, these are new release movies. Okay, so I'm going to click on one just to open it. Okay, let's click on uh, Dumb and Dumber 2. Okay, now it's going to give me different links for that movie. Same thing what we saw in Digital Sports. So I can choose any one. Sometimes some links are down. Maybe the peop you know, the uh, person who put the link online took it off. Um, you know, some of them, so some of them might not work right away. Um, and, but you'll get about, you know, over 40 links that you can choose from. So you can skip around and you can start at the top. It doesn't matter. Um, but, you know, uh, you know, keep in mind uh, that, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, some of them might not be working. Uh, so I'm just going to start at the top. Okay, that's the first link. I'll hit OK. And here's the movie. Okay, from the beginning. Okay, now if any of the, the movies that you open, you see it buffer too much, and when you hit play, you try to force it to play, it, it skips or anything, just stop it and go to the next one. It just could be that that link is a little slow. Okay, so I'm gonna hit stop and stop it. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna hit back, which is return, and go back. So that's how you do that. Okay, uh, same goes for. Uh, if you want to watch TV, uh, you have latest episodes there, or you can search, you could go to TV shows or anything like that. Everything, uh, if you want to put a movie in your favorites, basically, you can highlight the movie itself before opening it, and you hit the menu button, 
and then uh, hit add to favorites, it'll actually add it right here to my Genesis so you can make your own movie library if you liked. So let me go back, okay? iStream is basically, um, also has movies, but I, it's, it's, I normally uh, recommend using it just for uh, TV shows. Uh, it works very well with TV shows. Genesis is a little better for movies, but obviously th uh, this one actually does movies also. Uh, Phoenix has uh, different things in there with live TV and international and stuff like that. Uh, NaviX is, uh, let me just open it real quick. Uh, it's, this one is very, uh, NaviX is very random. It's a lot of users that post stuff on there. Um, if I want to, I can go into my favorites here. These are like music channels that I normally uh, put on the box. They show music videos. They're from all over the world. Um, and then these folders down at the bottom, these are live channels, uh, live TV channels that you can browse through and open them up. Now, if I don't want to go to the favorites, to open up the program, I go here where it says start. Then you have three things you can go to here. Most viewed in 24 hours, most viewed in seven days, and most recently updated. I normally go right in the center, most recently updated, because those are more likely to work. So I'll open it up. Okay, and uh, so this is different things that are in there that people post. Some of them are movies, some are channels. You know, anything you open will have different things in it. Okay, so, uh, you, you know, if you have a lot of time and you want to browse through this, you can do that. And, it, you know, open up any of these and uh, it'll open up a channel for you. Okay, uh, now this, this particular program is the only one on the box that when you hit back to go to the main screen, this thing will, this box will pop up on the left and you have to go down to exit hit OK to exit. Okay, then it'll put you on the main screen. Okay, so uh, now, again, if I go to video add-ons to see the rest of the programs, here's everything else. Okay, uh, uh, AAA, uh, AAA Stream or AAA Live TV up top. That one has live TV from all over the world, uh, basically. Um, PrimeWire does movies and shows. Click is a mixed program, has some live content, has movies, has all that kind of stuff. Uh, Digital Sports, as uh, you just saw, sports and uh, some live channels. Uh, Halo T uh, Live, also is uh, TV from all over the world. Go Movies is for movies, which is just like Genesis, um, except it just does movies, uh, no shows. Entertainment Hub shows, um, basically uh, live channels, movies. It's mixed, you know, uh, you have uh, links from all over the world. Uh, this one here, Amplix is uh, an adult um, add-on. Uh, iLive is exactly what it is, live TV. Ice Films is for TVs and shows, uh, you know, TV shows and uh, movies, I should say. iStream, again, TV shows and movies. Uh, this one here is, uh, you know, an adult app. Now, Mashup is actually discontinued. Um, the developer no longer uh, supports it. But I do have a version on here that's the final version that some things will work in there, some things will not, only because the developer is no longer uh, active. So I keep it on there. Uh, Phoenix, you, um, we already saw. Aurora TV will pull up TV shows. Navi X, we already saw. Movies for me is also for movies. Movies 25 is also for movies. Um, these are some, you know, ethnic uh, apps. I normally don't put them on unless somebody asks me. These are Portuguese channels and uh, some Middle Eastern channels. Uh, so people ask me, um, you know, do you have these channels? Um, the other apps will have these channels, uh, but this, this is just specified for one particular country or a particular region. Um, so, uh, TV for me, uh, uh, we'll pull up TV shows, World TV, uh, you know, and plenty of other apps here, some adult apps, some YouTube, uh, you know, so that's just to give you a heads up. Um, of what comes with the box. Okay, so <clears throat> now if I want to shut the program down, I go right next to the star on the bottom left and hit the OK button on the uh, on the button, uh, basically on that little circle power button there, and I hit OK. It's going to say, do you want to exit? And when I hit OK again, it's going to shut it down. You wait a few seconds, it'll take you to the Android screen. Then you actually hit the red button on the remote, and that'll actually... Um, shut down the box. So we'll wait until it goes to the Android screen. Okay, now it's at the Android screen. So when I want to shut it down, I'm going to hit the red button on the remote, and now the box is powered off. Okay, um, now just a quick reminder, just want to let you guys know that <coughs> my 
my uh, company actually, we uh, get original boxes. There's a lot of counterfeit boxes that are out there circulating all over the internet. Also, a lot of the boxes say loaded or programmed and they don't come with anything. You have to do it yourself. It's not as easy as installing or downloading. Um, that's, you know, it takes a lot of time and configuration. So, you know, don't, don't get fooled by people saying that uh, they're giving you a box that's plug and play, okay? I'm one of the few uh, people that sells it that way. Um, and, you know, obviously if you see a box listed for about $90 or something like that, you know it's not going to come with the programming. Just to let you guys know, no boxes out there will come that way. Uh, also, you know, so, so you're gonna, you might run into um, a box that's counterfeit, that's not the real thing. It might say MX3 or MXQ, or, but the hardware inside is not original. Um, and the other thing, like I said, it's not programmed. Now, I don't know anybody else out there. Uh, I'm, I'm, first off, I'm one of the few companies in the U.S. that actually sells these, um, you know, uh, original, basically, and programmed. Uh, I don't know anybody else uh, that offers uh, live phone support, okay? Um, I offer phone support for the first 90 days, uh, which is, you know, usually people might call me once or twice the first uh, when they first get the box just to know where the stuff is. Once you start using it, it's very easy. Um, you'll get to know what all the add-ons do and stuff like that, and usually you don't need any help after that. So I offer the free uh, support, which uh, I don't know any other company that does that. Um, so, uh, you know, the, the boxes come with the remote control. They come with the uh, free HDMI cable. They come with the power cord. They come with a manual that just shows you, you know, it comes from the factory, it just shows you how to hook it up if you need to know how to hook it up. Um, so, but we do have, you know, uh, our customer support line. Um, it's open seven days a week. Uh, the hours are on our website. Um, and you can place an order right on our website with PayPal or you can, you know, use just a regular credit card and place an order. I normally ship out within 24 hours, depending on uh, how early in the day I get my order. Um, I ship everything out priority mail. So it's two to three days across the country. If it's international, obviously it's a little bit more and the rates will be a little different. Um, so uh, there is discounted shipping, obviously. The more you order, the little bit uh, cheaper it'll be for you on shipping. So um, the website will be listed in the description, okay? And it's uh, www.kpstechusa.com. Uh, Again, it's www.kpstechusa.com, and I appreciate you taking the time out to watch the video. Um, and like I said, the link will be right in the YouTube video in the description, so you can click it. It'll take you right to our website, and um, uh, I hope you guys have a good day, and I hope uh, this was helpful. Thank you.